Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Educate to Elevate and I am your coach Uzma and today I'm going to talk about a topic which I feel I think almost 90% of the people in this world must have encountered because very less people are there who are lucky enough to get into a relationship and then that person becomes their soulmate and they end up marrying that person you know we all have gone through breakups ups and downs in relationships and whatnot and you know when a breakup happens it really takes us a lot of time to move forward or move on or forget that past relationship because you know we have invested so much in the relationship we put in our emotions our efforts and so many things are there the memories are there that makes it really tough for us to move on so today i'm going to give you some tips that are going to help you let go that past hurt and move on so without much further ado, let's get into the video. So I know it is actually really tough to let go of somebody you have loved a lot. But we have to understand this fact that what is to happen is to happen and whatever happens, happens for the best. So it was actually not meant to be. That's why it ended. So when we are in the process of forgetting all those past things and moving forward, the first thing or the first thing tip that I'm going to give you is that you need to take out time every day to visualize your empowered self as a single person you and only you so when you visualize that you 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 know uh, think of yourself that now when I am single I'm not in that in the clutches of that toxic relationship or anything that was bad I am I have so much time for myself I have I'm free from the shackles of that negative relationship or I have so much now to progress in life to to you know work on myself so that is one thing that every day when you visualize your image with that empowered you as a single you that is really going to help you out to break that connection or that something that you know last chord that is left now second thing that you can do is that you can you know create a space for yourself like you know most of the time when we are in a relationship we are having you know all the gifts or the mementos around our gallery of the phone is filled with the pictures the couple pictures the selfies the videos the text messages so make sure that you delete all that remove all the those things from you know uh, in front of your eyes which are there and create a self of your present reality create that space for yourself remove everything create memory in your phone create memory in your hard disk create memory on your desk and create memory in your mind now the third thing now the third thing that you can do is remember what that experience taught you because see whatever negative thing happens in our life be it in terms of a romantic relationship any setback that comes in our life or any negative that thing that comes there is a reason behind it and when we come out of it we are a stronger you know version of ourselves as it is says you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger so in the same way keep reminding yourself that what did you learn probably you learned not to trust people so easily probably you learned that being in such a relationship you maybe you lost your voice your individuality and then finally you took control and you you know raised your voice and said what you had to say so there is something that that past experience or that relationship taught you so keep remembering that whatever happened made me stronger made me a better version of me now this one sounds funny but it is actually a powerful nlp tool that people use to let go of their past memories or even you know mitigate the effect of certain triggers or something that create sadness or sorrow in them so you can use silly voice technique as it is said that you know when when you have flashes of those uh, fights or maybe those uh, you know some incidents which give you sadness or sorrows you can actually replace the voice of the person with some funny cartoon sound or voice in your brain when you're visualizing or remembering those things i know it takes time to do it consciously in fact there is another way when you remember those harsh words and you know you listen to those voices you can actually consciously reduce the volume of the sound of the person you know 
people say that it is time that erases the memories in the brain of the person it's actually not that it's actually us that we remove our focus and then the memories or the pictures or the visions which are there in our brain they go away or they go in the back of the, our mind and become hazy in the same way if you start to learn and train yourself to do it consciously you will be able to remove or erase those negative memories or the past memories that you have so this one is actually really important not only in terms of uh, you know forgetting the past sorrows of the relationship but also anything that you are doing that is rewarding yourself for taking small actions towards accepting your reality so when you realize that you are doing something positive you are forgetting you know uh, the past thing or you started remembering something but then you uh, stopped yourself and you changed your focus or you changed your emotion and that is when you must give a tap on your shoulder or say something good about yourself that keep it up you are going good you are strong enough keep up the chin and i know you'll move forward and you'll be able to move on so rewarding yourself or appreciating yourself for these small acts that you do that shows that you are so strong is going to really uh, help you have that motivation increase and then you'll be able to completely free yourself from that past hurt and now the next one that is hang somewhere the statement and keep reading it again and again or probably write it in some diary or notebook that you open every day maybe make it your you know wallpaper of your phone of your laptop and what is that loving myself means letting go the moment you accept the fact that you will be happy once you let go you need to love yourself and let go that past that has already gone from your life you will feel so empowered and you'll be able to feel happier about your present situation so remember loving myself means letting go one very nice technique that can be used is when most of the time when we do not get a closure in a relationship and there are many things that have not been said or explained but you know the ties have been broken and you know you cannot just go to that person and say to the person probably you have been ghosted from everywhere or blocked or anything so there is a very nice technique that can be used is that you journal or write everything that you want to express now one thing is that you know you write it in the form of a letter and then burn it I know it will sound like jab we met or something like that but trust me it works write down every pent up emotion that you have had every complaint everything that you want to and then probably end it by letting go and forgiving the person and just freeing yourself and tear off the letter that you want to you want to burn it burn it and then you will feel so light hearted because you know being an emotional fitness coach i keep on fixating that point that resisting or sub subsiding your emotions are not going to help you out if you resist your negative emotions they're going to come back again they're going to erupt even in a worse way like a volcano so better is experience it once and for all and let it wash away from your mind and from your heart and finally the last tip that i would like to give you is remember the both goods and bads of that relationship keep it this way fine you had nice memories with the person i always say this thing that you know everybody who comes in our life comes with a purpose and when the purpose of that person is done in our life the person moves on like a bird flies away so remember that remember your good memories of that person and feel happy if you had something bad remember how it taught you and made you stronger so in the end i would like to tell you that yes life is long and life is full of struggles but whatever happens happens for the best and trust me you're going to get that best person and it's okay to err is human it's not always that if you have had multiple relationship that means that you are not a good person or people should judge you for that no it's okay you ended up meeting a wrong person sometimes two people are good as individuals but when they are together they are not good for each other so it happens so important is it's okay you took that decision now completely remove those ties break it 
and become an empowered person and move forward and also focus on self love that's the most important thing so if you like this video please click on the like button comment share your experiences which one you used to let go your past hurt or of relationships and of course as i am a certified relationship coach and you really want my help you want to dive deeper and you want my help further to let go of these past things or any relationship issues you have you can always reach out to me on my website www.educate2elevatelife.com all right bye